Welcome everyone to this video. And now in this video, I'm going to kind of add to yesterday's video. Now yesterday's video was basically your gear doesn't matter. Your camera gear doesn't matter. In this video, I'm going to say it does. <laughs> now hear me out with this. It's not the camera gear that makes the image. It's the photographer that makes the image. But having better gear does make getting that image a lot easier. Now, I showed you this image here yesterday where I shot with the Canon T3i Rebel. Now, I didn't say what lens I used. I used a, it was an older lens, but it was a 200 2.8. Now, that is a great sharp lens. It's a prime lens, so it's tack sharp. Um, and it definitely was able, I was able to get this image because of that lens. Um, I wouldn't be able to shoot that if it was a, a kit lens or a let's say a a 24 lens. I would be able to, it would just be harder to do it. But even though I said camera gear doesn't matter, it kind of does. Now if you're shooting with a T3i with a 3 frames a second, then you go to a 70, 70D which shoots about 12 frames, uh, 7, 7 frames a second. You will learn it's night and day. It's, you learn you get easier shots with the Canon that shoots higher frames a second if you're shooting sports than one that doesn't get it. So you're able to actually capture the image a little easier. The same thing goes with flashes. If you're can only use a like an Alien B, which is a very inexpensive lens, when you start shooting with an Elochrome, um, the flash duration is higher in the Elochrome than it is in the Alien B, so you're able to get that stop of motion. You won't see a blur or anything, you'll be able to freeze imaging with that light. And you're able to, like I said, get the shot easier and you probably won't miss the shot as much. So when do you know that you definitely need to maybe invest in more gear? Is when that price of gear is lower than the value of that gear. Now if you're just doing like street photography, you don't really need to spend $5,000 on a Canon um, 5D Mark IV. You can probably get away with a, a Rebel. But if you are shooting sports or shooting a um, live event all the time, and that's what your main business is, that value of the Canon 5D Mark IV definitely outweighs the actual price of the camera. So you kind of have to do the juggling of the, is it the value of that gear more, more or less than the, value, the actual cost? And if the value is more, definitely get it. Because even though the gear doesn't make the image, the gear makes it easier for the photographer to get that image. So that goes into my thing because I want to go back to DSLR because I do miss the, having the long focal lens and be able to interchange the lenses and getting shots like this, like the blue black background and just that crisp clean shot. So I'm looking to get it. I'm either getting a Canon, if I get the cash, a Canon 5D or the Mark IV or the 60. Now I know this video contradicts what I said yesterday, but this is kind of the fine line where you have to decide what gear you need to get the image. And if it's a $300 camera, it's going to have to be a $300 camera to get that lens. Or if you absolutely need the Canon 5D Mark IV, which I'm going to say Canon, or you need the 1DX, which is a $8,000 camera, then you do need to do the balancing of the value and the cost of the camera. I hope this video kind of maybe has helped you sort out if you're getting new camera gear or what. Um, it's definitely going through my mind right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and share buttons. Also, if you want to join this community, you can hit that red subscribe button and stay updated. You can also follow me on my Twitter and Instagram page where I post everything. All the links will be down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.